It's time for Rick Bentley's TV Beat television program. Stay tuned for former Fresno Beat media and entertainment writer Rick Bentley as he brings the TV Beat column to television with the latest news of what's happening in local radio, television, and more. And now, here's Rick Bentley. Hello. Very hearty welcome to another edition of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. This is a show, as I've told you repeatedly, designed to keep you updated on what's going on in local TV, radio, and film. Now, as has been the case in recent weeks, I'd like to start the show with a personal gripe. It's fully understandable that uh, radio stations had to start laying off people several years ago when the economy went into the toilet. Trust me, I understand how companies have cut their staffs. The fact radio stations survived is really the amazing part of this story. But the cutbacks meant because of less people, radio stations often uh, employ less people, and this works because of computers that can be used to make recorded material by the on-air personalities they have, mix that with music and commercials to the point that the show sounds live, but it's not. So even when it's live, radio stations have gotten away from telling the time. Yes, the time. Recently, I was doing yard work, and despite listening to a radio station, I never knew the time. Uh, most of us don't wear watches, so I depended on the radio. There needs to be a way to get back to more time and temperature reporting to make the on-air broadcast easier to the listener. I'm going to ask my guests tonight about that. All right, it's time to take a break. I'll be back in just a moment to do this thing. <music> Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI, with Fresno's all time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. The news. Great memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV channel 16.1 and on the web at KJOI.org. News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Frager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Beast, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Well, I have a lot to talk about, so I want to get to my first guest. Chris White is joining me, and he's here to talk about the return of the radio station KKDJ to the Fresno Airways. It's been gone for like three decades. Now, White relaunched the station after talking with his good friend and mentor, Gary Cocola of Cocola Broadcasting. Both were huge fans of the station. Now, KKDJ is broadcasting on two FM frequencies, 99.7 and 94.7. And for now, it's just a mix of syndicated shows, including Nights with Alice Cooper. Chris, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's, it's just great news for, for people who have listened to radio for a long time in this market. Well, thank you for having me. And, you know, for, for many, many years, people have talked about KKDJ and what right. a great radio station it was. Lots of talent there. Lots of good people. People love the music, they love the people on the air, and they remember the station. It was number one for many, many years in the Fresno market. Yeah. Before we get to that, the practice in this show is always to give the person I'm talking to a chance to give me a little bit of information about yourself, let people know who you are. So how did you get into radio? How long have you been doing radio? Uh, since I was about 14, I was interested in radio. I grew up in Fresno and... Uh, uh, rode my bike over to Manchester Center <laughs> to go to KEAP radio because I was so interested and hung out there. They let me in the studio and, and watch, and I was just enthused about radio. So uh, I brought that information home, and my dad, who was a, a avid golfer and played with uh, Gene Chenault uh, from KYNO, um, said, well, I have a, a friend that's in the business. And mm. I didn't know who Gene Chenault was right. or whatever. <laughs> and I didn't know whether he worked there, he owned it or whatever. But he said, you go see my friend. Ride your bike over to 2125 North Barton mm. and, and meet this guy. He's a really nice guy. So I went and met him. And he was a really nice guy. Showed me around. I was in heaven because I was looking at everything. And then before I left, he said, well, you know, you can come hang around here anytime you want. Just don't go in the main studio when the guys are on the air. But here's a key. 
Here's a 14 year old kid with a key to the different number time, one wasn't rock and roll Much station time, yeah. in Fresno. And from that point on, I was I was hooked. And and radio has been in my blood, and, and I love it. And uh, well, did they uh, give you a, a slot? Did you do the? No, did I didn't. You, you I didn't. didn't. I didn't. I, I played in the, the the production room. I pulled the teletype. Uh, off the, the teletype machine for the news and all that kind of stuff and just hung out yeah. and wanted to do it. And then Would later you, life, I went on the air. When did you get on it? When was the first job? What was the first Oh, day? I think the first job was at Keep when I was about 17. Okay. And I did I did like from 6 to 8.45 when they signed off at night. Oh, okay. Um, That's a lot. We, we had some really big, big people there in the radio business that were working there at that time. Bob LaCare, who was a black Bart, was a local guy here, mm -hmm. very popular. And it was a country station, daytime only, went off when the sun went down in the summertime. So that's where I started. And then I went to UCLA, and the rest is all history. Got into radio and, mm -hmm. and uh, off and on and, and love it. And, uh, you know, it's in my blood. Yeah. And uh, during all that time, you've, all, you've stayed in radio. You've not... You've not stayed, sh stayed in radio, and I have an engineering degree, so I do a lot of electrical engineering as well. Right. So, uh, you know, I, but I just enjoy it. Um, I, I, did, uh, I did some TV at one point. Mm. I went back years ago when I owned a, a, a stereo stores in Fresno, right. American Stereo, Cal Stereo, Metro Stereo, Bananas Hi-Fi. Uh, we did a all night show, all night video before MTV came on <laughs> with uh, on Gary Cocola's television station. It keeps at that circling time. back to him, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, and we were pioneers, and it was a fun thing because the phone rang off the hook. People listened. We were the only thing on after midnight. All other stations went off, so right. it was was interesting. Well, why KKDJ now? What what came about that said this was the time to bring it back? Well. People have asked for years, what happened to KKDJ? There's a market out there for it. And Gary and I got together and we're talking about it and said, man, we should do this. I found out Gary had the call letters wow. for KKDJ. He was smart enough to take the call letters and put them on a Santa Maria low power television station okay. that he had. So those call letters were sitting out there. And boy, what a great thing to bring that back to Fresno because so right. many people remember that. So, so Gary and I got together. We put this, this thing together. Gary got a, a translator in Fresno, California, so we could put it on in Fresno. I have an FM in Fireball, okay. a full power FM in Fireball. And so we put those two together and made KKDJ, which is coming back. We are still working on our signal. I was so going to say your signal is a little bit... Is, no, Iffy at times. It is. Yeah. Not where we want it, but uh, we are working on that. That's an engineering thing, so we're right. working on that. And, you know, we're we're very happy to, to be on the air in Fresno. We have a little work to do, so stand by because uh, we've got a lot of, of, of surprises up our sleeve, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to make some Fresno radio history, we hope. You know, and invite all the listeners that remember KKDJ to come back and listen. Well, is to there us. a time frame? Are you looking to be, you know, up and running full, you know, full after, strength by the first of the year? Yeah, or? after the first of the year, we're just waiting on some engineering paperwork, and as soon as that's done from our, the engineering side, then we're we're ready to roll. Okay, now right now you're you're playing classic rock. We are. Is that the format you can continue with? Or are you going to tweak it any? It's or? a secret. I can't tell you. Okay, so uh, okay. this so this is what's on the air right now. Yeah. We could. We yeah. could be, you know, KKDJ was so innovative because uh -huh. the owner at the time, Wally Heuser, a very smart gentleman who really knew not nothing about radio formats and all of that stuff, he put some music together, got some music people that were really smart, mm -hmm. and let each DJ do their own thing. Let them be themselves. And so that's how the format was really good. When all the other big corporate formats were out there, it was really, really good. And people loved that because it was the average guy doing right. funny stuff on the radio. And, you know, we we turned this thing on with some network talent, like Centauri in the morning. Right. Alice Cooper at night. Right. right. The Alice Cooper, the singer who has right. a radio show at night. But the goal of KKDJ is to play the best music. Uh, of course, a lot of classic rock, but some right. other music as well. We'll have a blues show on on Sunday night, which is already oh, okay. on. But nobody plays blues in the Valley, 6 right. to 10 on Sunday night. Jim Castleman, blues show. And so we will we will have local talent uh, in Fresno. We will, so the, the on-air people will be here? On-air people will be right here in Fresno. We will be a local Fresno radio station. For now, we're using network talent. Yeah. But... 
as soon as we get our signal cleaned up and we're ready to go full bore, we've got some talent and some names that you definitely will remember. Well, and that's going to leads me to the the break I need to take right now because one of one of the talents that you're going to you're going to bring on is going to join us right after this break. And I we're think we're actually going to tell people who he is. Well, okay. Well, that's all right. I got a, okay. I got a, a brown paper bag. You put it and just let him, you know, be the unknown DJ if you want to do that. But uh, <laughs> I think we should let people know. At least, at least give them a taste of where you're headed with this station. No, and we're very excited because we're going to do a lot of local things in the Valley here. We have already talked to Chief Jerry Dyer, who wants to do a breakfast with the cops, lunch with the cops, dinner with the cops, where we bring listeners in and meet the cops and let them know that they're local yeah. people, good people working in the Valley here and uh, get to know them. We, we've done this before in other markets and it works very, very well. We've got a lot of exciting things, but it's all about Fresno and the Central Valley and KKDJ's home is Fresno. Sounds great. And we uh, got to take a little quick break right now, but when we come back, I'm going to bring on somebody that uh, any of you who have been in this area for a long time and familiar with uh, Fresno Radio are going to recognize this name and uh, uh, one of the voices of, uh, of uh, KKDJ when it, when it fires up full power at the beginning of next year. Be right back. Protecting your home and family is as easy as Safeco. It's easier than this, or this, or even this. For over 30 years now, Safeco has been the local company offering simple protection to homes and businesses. They service and monitor most systems, so you don't have to resort to this. Protecting your home or business is as easy as Safeco. If you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, call Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing savings, call Havens to the rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, call Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Call Havens to the rescue. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto-Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto-Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto-Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto-Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto-Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Well, we're back, as I promised. Uh, you see that Chris White is gone, or at least morphed. Uh, no, this is my uh, this is my guest. This is uh, anybody who's been listening to Fresno Radio for a long time will know the name John Lee Walker. John Lee Walker in and, the morning. And you were you are been a part of Fresno Radio. You were telling me for years. Yeah, since uh, 1978, I've been doing radio. You know, it seems like forever uh, since I was. Were you 14? Uh, I was younger, actually younger than that. Wow. Uh, and being in Mississippi, I was stupider than that, too. So <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in uh, Mississippi, and I started at a little radio, a little country radio station uh, playing Elvis records, you know, the king. Thank wow. you very much. And then you played all the country. You went to Florida and Yeah, LA I, went, I went from, uh, I got lucky, got very lucky, uh, and went from uh, Jackson, Mississippi to uh, New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Had a good show in New Orleans. We were number one in New Orleans, and then they took me to Tucson, uh, and went to work for some guys in Tucson, and then uh, then um, moved on to Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, became uh, number one in Miami, and after that, they moved me to Kiss FM, K I I S FM in Los Angeles, right. where I ended up doing the morning show at Kiss FM in Los Angeles. Um, so I was very lucky. Uh, but then I came to Fresno. I wanted to be a program director, oh, okay. and, and uh, I wanted to get in your column and be <laughs> talked about. So uh, I did some pretty outrageous stuff just to get you to talk about. So, well, is it? And it, you did. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> I hope I didn't say anything negative no. or bad or oh, so. No, oh. no, no. 
So, uh, so you came here as a program director? Correct. And, and how long did you do that? Uh, t about 10 years in the Fresno market. We started out a little radio station called K104. Right. And we took it from 2.6 to 12.6. So we went from nowhere to number one. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some great people that helped us do that. Right. Uh, and then uh, uh, Chris talked about Gene Chenault. Gene Chenault uh, found me uh, and hired me to come over to Kino, K-Y-N-O, okay. and work at Kino. Uh, Gene was actually at my wedding, so I got very close to Gene Chenault. He's a, one of the greatest men I ever knew. Uh, and he gave me my start, and I worked with him and Drake Chenault for years. And uh, I really enjoyed Fresno. So I married a Fresno girl, mm -hmm. uh, and I've been married to the same Fresno girl. The interesting thing now is John Lee Walker in the Morning now is part of a breakfast club because it's back in Fresno. And it's some people that may remember the show, I had a little kid that sang, John Lee Walker in the morning. <laughs> I could bring it up and play it for uh -huh. you. You'd remember it, too. Um, that kid is now my producer. He's a 33-year-old man. <laughs> he's a 33-year-old man, and he's my son. So we're the only father and son uh -huh. uh, generational uh, morning show in the world. Will, uh, he, will he sing a new theme? Uh, he, Charlie Daniels actually sing, sings the theme. Uh, when uh. I was in New Orleans, Charlie Daniels and I were playing poker. And he said, John Lee, I love your name. I'm going to make a song out of that name. And yeah. I said, yes, sir, go ahead. A few years later, he did. The song's called Trudy. Oh. And it, it's a story of me. Oh. Uh, so I use that as my intro of my, my well, that, show. That and makes everything. sense. Yeah, yeah. But it's, uh, now, there was a gap of you not being on the air? There was. I, I In radio, I um, decided I want to do something different. You know, mm -hmm. I, I understood the radio part of it, but I didn't understand the business part of it. Yeah. And, and Fresno was such a great town. I, so I stopped and opened my own business. And at one point, we had 175 people working for us. Wow. Uh, so we, what kind of business was uh, it? Market research company. Oh, okay. I was right. a research guy. Uh, uh. So we did research and marketing for radio and television stations mm -hmm. across the country and for some huge, you know, big companies right. as well. We worked with me and Ed's here locally and the Chico's yeah. and people like that. But we did that, and, and I got a chance to see how business is run and how, you know, it's not quite as funny in real life as it is on the radio right uh and i uh you know raised a family here i've got a son and a daughter they both went to san joaquin memorial i coached football at san joaquin memorial so in fact chris was talking about the fresno pd a couple of the fresno pd officers now were players for me oh. at memorial so i'm looking for the opportunity to have that breakfast with the cops and be one of the kids that i actually coached at sjm so yeah. I, I love this town i'm, I'm here to stay <laughs> but you got out of it why get back in it it's an itch. You understand. Oh, God, you know God, how no, it is. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's a lot of I'm fun. I'm asking for them. Yeah, okay. for them. Yeah. It, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I missed it. Uh, I didn't tell anybody I missed it, but I did. You know, it's it's uh, creativity is something that you have to let out. And my wife got tired of hearing this, you know, every morning now since I'm not on the radio, it'll be like, hey, do you hear the one about Jerry Dyer? And, uh, you know, and uh, she got tired of that. Coming so up said, next, well, orange juice. Exactly, orange juice, yes. <laughs> so she said, uh, why don't you get back on the radio? And I, I, I heard Chris White was doing something revolutionary with yeah. the KKDJ. I mean, what a great radio station. And I'm just lucky to hopefully be part of it. You know, yeah. that's that's what I'm looking forward to. Well, we're still a little bit away from you getting back on the air, yeah. but yeah. are you guys beginning to format? Yeah, what you, you, yeah. We're, working on, ideas we're and... working on that right now. As a matter of fact, we did that uh, tonight. We started cutting some voicers and uh, talking about the music that we're going to play. And, and and Chris, was he? what he said was, I mean, you can hear the station now locally, not very well because of some transmitter right, issues that right. are going on right now. But there's also, we're on TuneIn and okay. uh, several other opportunities that you, you can find the station to listen to it if you really want to hear it. Right. But we're making adjustments, the engineering and everything. And yeah. hopefully at the first of the year, the music will be right, the personalities will be right, everything will be ready to go, and that's when we'll, we'll make the big push. But you know about it now, yeah. early. I've always thought that the morning slot was the hardest in radio because you've got to find the energy to get people going. Yeah. But then again, if you're too up, it's like, oh, God, I don't want to listen to this guy. So where did you find that? Where, where do you, are you going to find that level? Yeah, it's you know, we did research on it, quite honestly. I was on for eight years, and we mm -hmm. did a lot of research. And what we found out that people liked about the show that I helped put together, I don't want to say I did it alone, uh, was that it was always positive. Everything was positive. There was no negativity. There was, okay. And today, with radio, it's everybody's cynical. They come in with a negative attitude. Right. They're always talking down about something rather than up. And right. and so listening to the show gave you a, an up feeling rather than a, uh, here we go, you know, Howard Stern, you know. <laughs> that's yeah. a, 
that's not what we do. We, we want to make you have fun, but it's got to be local. As Chris said, we're going to be hyper local. Everything, everything I say in the morning is going to be related to the Central Valley, Fresno and Clovis. You're not going to hear and New York, this and then right. Los Angeles, this. We only care about Fresno. OK, at the top of the show. I, I complained about one of my big complaints about radio these days is that so much is automated. Mm -hmm. I was out working and I was listening to the radio because I loved radio yeah. and I could never hear the time. Will you promise me that occasionally you will at least tell me what time it is? We have you? formatted into the station a thing Chris likes, uh, information breaks. Oh. But it's only local news, it's only local weather, and it's only local traffic. And, of course, time would be local as well. So, yeah, I, I think you do two, time two times every time. You know, it's uh, 6.20, you know, uh, 20 minutes after 6. So that people hear the time. I think yeah. that's important. And I think it's more important than, what, than it was years ago because most of us no longer wear watches. We depend on our phones. That's true. And so when, we're out work, when I'm working in the yard, you, I, do, <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's kind of hard to do this and do everything like that. So yeah. I thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll so. do the artist and the name of the song as well, who the artist okay, was. Okay, because that's another that's thing another that people... people I love that song, but what was it? What was it? Yeah. Uh, and, of course, now with the apps and the tune-in and all that, they give the artist and title on there. So we've got some great ideas, some good, exciting things that people haven't heard of in terrestrial radio, at least. You, I mean, you hear network radio everywhere. Fresno's full of network yeah. radio stations, yeah. but who's talking about Fresno? Who's talking about Jerry yeah. Dyer and Margaret Mann and uh, Clint Olivier and, and, and uh, Mayor, you know, the mayor brand. Well, I'll tell you who is. You guys. Well, you will be. Well, I promise you that. So, what's and good? you. You're going to be a, a, a target, as always. Hey, you always were. You always will fine be. by me. Rick, I, uh, you're my favorite I, target, buddy. I have the thinnest skin. Thickest thin. Sorry, 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 <laughs> no, sorry. So, I think you, that's Freudian, I think. I, no, it's, <laughs> that's the truth. That's like that. well, Listen, thanks for being a guest. I know people who've listened to you years ago are going to be excited about having your voice back on the air because, you know, I, we always... We grew up with people that we become very nostalgic about, so to have you back, I think that's a great thing. So I, I couldn't be more excited. Best of I'm luck with that. Very much. Thank you. All right, that's what the, for this segment. I'll be back with some local news. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better, and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs and personalities call today a place for mom you know your family we know senior living together we'll make the right choice call a place for mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care call 1-800-245-0490 great news if you like music like this it's kjoy kjoi with fresno's all-time favorites a unique variety of the music you know and remember tell us we're too young Great songs. The news. Great and memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV channel 16.1, and on the web at KJOI.org. Hello, welcome to Alberto's restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's, you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare, and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's, we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salud. Salud. Before I get to the last part of the promise I made to you about reviewing the new TV shows for the fall season, I'll continue to keep that promise I promise I'll continue to keep that promise with looking at Fox and the CW. But there's some big news with local anchors I want to touch on. George Takata, who has worked in local television for 27 years, has taken a job at Reedley College as the Director of Marketing and Communications. His last day was at the end of November, and he started to work in, at Reedley College in his new position immediately. Uh, the Fresno State graduate began his career at Casey, and then moved to KGPE, that's Channel 47, in 1997 as a sports anchor. He moved to Casey Sunrise in 2013. The move is not a big surprise because Takata never seemed uh, comfortable as the co-host of the station's morning show. I think he's going to like the new job better. Okay, here's a final look at the fall season launches. Uh, the CW had the fewest new shows because of all the success they have. Uh, they've been having with programs based on comic books, Arrow, Flash, you know the, th the things. The only new shows they added were the uh, military action show Valor and a new version of the 80s primetime soap opera Dynasty. 
eh, both shows follow the CW format of being really high on camp and low on quality. Then there's Fox. Uh, joining the lineup this year has been uh, Marvel's The Gifted, The Orville, and Ghosted. Three, only the three no shows for Fox. Not bad. The Gifted is another series based on Marvel comic characters. Boy, they're everywhere. And it's set in the time of the X-Men. Now, it's not a bad series, but the program feels like it's a really a retreading of the show Heroes. Remember that? On NBC? Where people with special powers were hunted down. Uh, because of that, I just don't like the familiarity of it, and I don't think Gift has got much of a chance of, of lasting long beyond this, this first season. I've been wrong before, but... Uh, it's just too familiar to Heroes. In fact, Heroes was much better. Go back and pick up a DVD of that. There's also a familiar feeling to the Orville as Seth MacFarlane writes what I think is Star Trek fan fiction. This series, it's on a five-year mission to explore new worlds and gain more viewers. It's like a poor man's version of Star Trek. Uh, then there's Ghosted, a comedy starring Adam Scott and... Uh, some actor, I don't know, who cares? As two men drawn into the world of strange and unusual creatures. Boy, if, it's like men in black meets X-Files. I care so little about it, I don't even care who stars in it. All three shows are okay, nothing great, but not that bad. All right, that's it for the news this week. I'll be back in a moment for a last thought. <music> Hello, welcome to Alberto's restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salud. Salud. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better, and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today, A Place for Mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1-800-245-0490. Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI, with Fresno's all time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. Great memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV Channel 16.1, and on the web at KJOI.org. News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Frager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Well, that's this week's show. I want to give a special thanks to uh, both Chris White and John Lee Walker for agreeing to stop by and chat about local radio. As always, I always would like to thank you for tuning in. Your support has been greatly appreciated. I say it has been because this will be the final episode of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. I want to thank Gary Cocola for giving me a chance to do this experiment, to try television, something I had written about for so many years and I realized that writing about it is a lot easier than doing it. Uh, had I been reviewing this show, I would have said, you know, this is good information, guests are great, get rid of that host. He just doesn't know what he's doing. There's some people there who cut out for radio and television and print, and I'm a print guy. Now, I've really enjoyed trying to do this. I hope I haven't embarrassed myself or bored you to tears. Uh, if I have, I apologize. For those of you who watched the episodes, thank you. I appreciate you sticking with me. We feel like it was a good effort, but uh, again, this just wasn't the right fit for me. So for the last time, I'm going to bid you a fond farewell, and thank you for watching all this time. I hope you did find something you enjoyed in those, uh, the 13 episodes we did. Uh, and uh, if you're looking for me, I'm going back to the world of print. So for the last time, thanks for tuning in to TV Beat with Rick Beck. <laughs>